What's up, everybody? Got another Wednesday Dynasty Pylon show. Got Brian the Grizzly with Mark. Another week with no Martin. Yes. I mean, it's so sad. <laughs> I, it breaks my heart every single time I come in. I'm like, oh, man, where is he? It hurts so much. It hurts so heart. much. Yes. In my heart. <laughs> no, we miss you, Martin. We miss you. Most definitely, man. Most definitely. Because trying to do all these shows at the same time without you sucks. <laughs> <laughs> right? Just me and Mark on every show. <laughs> I know, right? Just There's a commander show. <laughs> exactly. Over and over again. I said, Reagan, I'm not uh, getting brought us in by saying, what the F are we talking about tonight? What do you even get demoted to? Probably yeah, no. that uh, USFL, XFL Combined show, combine yeah. the league, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get demoted to. Uh, what are we talking about, guys? I don't know if you guys have seen any of these posts, and it's been for different teams, uh, depending on who you who you hate the most. But uh, one that we have, of course, because I hate the Packers, it's for the Packers. And before I share it to you guys, I'm letting you know this is not necessary. This is not true. It is not true. I'll let you know now, okay? <laughs> but I do want to talk about it. Here you go. Green Bay Packers <laughs> have submitted a proposal for the NFL to adopt the European Soccer Points Standing System for the 2025-26 season. This system will, will have deadlock games end in ties rather than play an extra overtime period. With the, the points system, a win will give them three points, a tie will give them both teams one point, and a loss will give them zero points. Team with the most points will be crowned the regular season champion, and the top 14 teams will advance to the playoffs. Now, this is very similar to what happens in hockey, correct? Well, minus the top 14 teams, but yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I hear it. But really, it's all about the Packers being sucky. Because if you go through the comments, you'll see uh, all the, the Packers you know, hate and everything, which is great for me. I, I hate the Packers, so I have no problem with that. Um, But, no, I mean, that would just be stupid. Honestly, it would be the dumbest thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. the Bears did reject this trade offer from the Bears. But the Bears I don't care what you you're not going to do that. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like the I top know. It, 14 teams making the playoffs. Instead of 7-7, seven to seven, I do. I would like that. You always seem to have that like 7 and 10, 7 and 9 back in the day when there were 16 game team that suddenly makes the playoffs. And you know, most people are like, what's happening? But you got like an eleven weird. and five team who's like, oh, I don't get to make exactly. the playoffs. So why, why, why do we have let the four eleven five teams on in the in the the AFC, and then we got two seven nine teams in the NFC that you know, make the playoffs? Right. Oh well, yeah, that too. Yeah, for sure. I would be wouldn't be against reseeding. I wouldn't be against the top three teams being able to pick their opponents, which I think that that would be cool. You know, saying, "All right, you, we choose you." <laughs> we of the Chicago Bears committee choose the LA Rams. Like something, hey, something like hey. that. Hey, you have to be a top three team. Calm down. Hey. hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Not like I'm out here going, <laughs> the commanders would choose. Okay. I, I know where my team is. Not a top you know, three. Team. I think we're talented. I, I just think the NFC North is so hard. Because Detroit, Detroit's great. Green Bay is Green Bay. I hate them. And I will never say anything good about Minnesota. Them. Minnesota, I think, will get a, a good we think quarterback. Be bad, the best. Still decent. They still have the best wide receiver in, in all football. So, Oh, and I think their defense is going to make strides. Eric Coutinho yeah. is going to be that. So it's going to mm-hmm. be a very difficult division. I think the NFC North is going to be very close, very similar to the AFC North, when you don't know who the hell is going to win the damn division. You have no clue. Any of the teams. Yeah. Someone doesn't make it because they're, you know, they're nine and eight. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to have in that division very soon. Yeah. I, I, the part of ties, though. Like, I already hate ties as it is. I don't think there should be ties. That's, but and that's the problem. Basically already have ties. Have ties. 
We already have ties. If you go through it <laughs> all, oh, I know. you get a, a tie. So, like, why would you just get rid of overtime? That doesn't make any sense. Why would the NFL mm-hmm. want to do that? I know. I think I think the NFL should adopt college overtime rules. You don't think that's too much of a, a gag? Doesn't seem like real football. I mean, I guess, but at least there's finality about it. At least it goes until there is a winner. Yeah, but maybe instead of maybe instead of the twenty five, you move into like the forty five. I don't know. Let them have maybe one first down. I feel like it's not football. I don't like it. But also don't think the, the kickoff rule is football. <laughs> right. I also don't think a lot of stuff that we're doing is just weird. Like, you know, so I can't talk about all those things. Or what if you mix the two and you still have the kickoffs and stuff, but it's like, all right, you kick it off, they have their drive, and then the next team has their drive, and you just kind of go back and forth that way? I would rather them just sit, have the ball set, set at the twenty yard, 25-yard line. Oh, so now you do prefer college rules. No, so but, but the, the opposite team's 25 yard line. Nope. Oh, so don't kick off. So you start don't on the kick opposite off at team's 25. Over time, okay. you start at 25 yard line. Oh, I, I'm and, okay with that too. Yeah, yeah I, okay I would like that, that. Yeah. But they're not going to be. And there's, there's no pursuit. time. There's no time. But I mean, exactly. I guess that kind of. But that takes away from kind of football too, though, I guess. But I don't know. I mean, nothing's a great answer, but I would rather see something like that personally. I would just prefer to be have more of like it's like I don't know because when you have a tie, I'm always like it's it's the weirdest thing to me having a tie in football, like and how half the people don't even seem to know the overtime rules. <laughs> Over half the teams, I mean, yeah, not just the fans, players don't know what's going on. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I remember that one Eagles game and Donovan McNabb was like, "Oh, I didn't know we could end at a tie." I, I believe most of them don't still don't know. I, I don't even believe you got the Super Bowl rules. No one even knew the Super Bowl rules. Well, I mean, that's not true. The Chiefs knew the Super Bowl rules. Some of them <laughs> did. I don't know if everyone else did. <laughs> Wait, who, who called the, the, the game when the con- um, touchdown? <laughs> Wasn't it, was uh, it uh, McCall Harbin? Yeah. And he looked like he didn't know. He was like, okay, so what's going on next? <laughs> he's like, it's over. You're a champion. He was like, what's this win? <laughs> what up, B? Hey, what up? Thanks for coming in, man. Yo, oh, man. I, I don't think anyone knows the rules. We also got this. I hate because it has Green man, Bay. Packers I feel like this literally came out of left field. I know. It was just Sao Paulo. Like, really? Packers and Eagles? Really? Week one? Right, because they announced That's- like where they didn't they announce? No, they haven't even announced the Europe games, have they? Nope. And then all of a sudden they're like, "We won!" <laughs> You're like, "Wait, what?" Didn't even know this was on the table. Like, this was a choice. I mean, can right? we just relegate Green Bay to Sao Paulo? Let them just be in Brazil and not come back? Because it'd be sudden death, and not let anyone else come back. That'd be great. <laughs> oh yeah, I'd be okay with that. <laughs> Both of us would be okay with that, right? Yeah, get just, rid of the Packers and the Eagles. We don't need them keep, anymore. Let's keep the Packers out. Let's go. That's fine. I'm okay with it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that. And then we also had other things happening today. We have J.K. Dobbins finally signing with a team. Barton's Got to go get him again. Because he seems to have him every every year, no matter what. Did he actually drop J.K.? I think he did. He has. Oh. J- J.K. had signed with the Chargers. Another Ohio State guy. So, so what tells me is that Harbaugh is not afraid of grabbing uh, Ohio State guys. <laughs> He said uh, both teams may not be able to wear green jerseys at the at that game. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna need the Packers in white and yellow, and hey, Eagles, we need you to wear black. <laughs> I'm telling you, just leave Green Bay there. We'd be good. 
I won't miss him. <laughs> but yeah, J.K. Dobbins. Do the, 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 they have Gus Edwards too. Yes, they have Gus Edwards. They were like, hey, Baltimore said, running back. Come on back in. <laughs> Let's bring the Ravens over here. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Um, said the rival to the team that plays at the stadium wear green. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I figured. Oh, uh, man. All right, so we got JK. What other stuff did we have happen in the day? Something will happen with your, your 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 rivals, right? The Cowboys finally selected somebody? or uh, Oh, yeah. Somebody? The Cowboys signed a running back. Uh, they signed Royce Freeman. Royce Freeman. Could be your starting running back in Dallas. What the hell, guys? I don't even understand what's going on anymore. I don't think anybody does. <laughs> They're like, oh, we hold all our money for Micah Parsons. That's what we're doing. All right. Oh, yeah, it's funny you mentioned that because Jerry actually came out and said the reason they didn't spend money was so they can try to retain the stars that they currently have on the team. So, so I'm wondering if that is it. Parsons, CD. Dak, I, mean, I know his Dak. contract is up at the end of the year. Exactly. So, I still think that goes somewhere else, but you know, whatever. Say, so, uh, he might. Oh, um, did He'll you probably hear... talk to his brother decide to pick up the running backs? <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot Harbaugh the Harbaugh. Yep, John was like, hey. that connection too. <laughs> oh, Braden. Uh, um. So did you hear, uh, let's see if you're, I, I, I did it personally, like I saw him, but my dad actually read some of the stuff and was telling me about it. But you hear about the stuff about Bill Belichick that came out today. Yes, I was looking at that. Yeah. You want to tell everybody what that's it's about? Interesting. Um, apparently, uh, the reason, at least according to this article, that he Bill Belichick man. That is, yeah, it's a credible source. So I kind of believe the guy who wrote it. Um, apparently, he was saying that he got blackballed by Robert Kraft. Yep. And uh, he went to all the owners and said, don't hire him. He's the worst. Specifically and, uh, went to Arthur Blank and told him, mm -hmm. he he's a con man. He's going to tell you this one thing, and then all of a sudden, he's going to do it what he wants. He's just trying to tell you what you want to hear. Yeah. And you know, I think the, the Falcons were close to hiring him. He was there. Ready well, to Arthur go. Blank, Arthur Blank, still wanted him. But after that but whole thing, they had know. a committee. It was him, the GM, and then one other person, and they were the ones who were interviewing everybody. And then they took a poll, and apparently, uh, Arthur Blank was the only one who was interested in Bill Belichick. So That's probably what they're scared of him. I mean. Well, that's what I told my dad, too. I said, well, yeah, if I'm a GM. But he was telling me that in the interview, like both interviews or three interviews that he did with Arthur Blank, he said, I don't care about GM stuff. I just want to come in and be a coach. I so if that's the case, it. then I don't think. But I still think after a certain point, Bill Belichick will be like, I only have so many years. I want this guy. I want this guy. I want this guy. Well, I can so see Bill be Belichick. Hard I'm with. Bill Belichick. I'm the greatest coach of all time. Right. You're going to listen to what I got to say. Exactly. Although there is still one possible spot for him to go to, I guess. Where? Uh, there is one owner that absolutely can't stand Robert Kraft, and that's Jerry Jones. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, no matter, even if the Cowboys won the Super Bowl, Mike McCarthy isn't going to be at the Cowboys next year. I mean, they're not going to win the Super Bowl anyway. Yeah. But they didn't add anything, anything yeah, at all. Yeah, that's what I'm say saying. Everyone. That's what I'm saying. Um, but apparently, Mike McCarthy's done. He just they're just letting him play out his contract, and then apparently, Bill Belichick's going to be the favorite to land that job. And that and I can't, sense. I can't understand why if I'm Bill Belichick, I take that job, especially if they're letting Dak go. Like I only Maybe got two, won't. three years. Like, why do I want to go to a team that doesn't even have a quarterback? Well, because that's the perfect place because they don't have a real GM. Well, they don't. Can go, Jerry. Yeah, they can just talk. He talked to amongst each other. Two old guys talk about it. Figure two out what they want to do. 
Yeah. Oh, I'm actually I'm for it because that sounds like a horrible mixture. It's a horrible combination. It's like, like that, Bill oh, yeah, Dallas, right? Do this, Dallas. Do it. You guys are gonna have so much turmoil. No, but you there was turmoil when they were winning Super Bowls too, though. Oh, you know? They don't have that close of a caliber team. I don't know. Bill Belichick has done not more with a rubber, so. rubber, rubber gun, uh, rubber gun, so, well, well, chewing gum, and a rubber band, and they can like make a team out of nothing. Like he just creates mm. players. I'll be scared I would be a little bit afraid of that. The defense would be scary though, with Bill Belichick there. Yeah, Anthony in there. So I can see Bill going to the Giants next year. Oh, I mean, Does he go back to the Giants? Let's go back to the Browns. <laughs> Unfinished business. <laughs> I mean, he he would be a lock for greatest coach ever if he won a Super Bowl with the Browns. Come on now. <laughs> I mean, he's already that guy. But if he if he wins a Super Bowl, with anyone but with the Browns taking the Browns to the Super Bowl. <laughs> he already won true. two Super Bowls with the with the Giants. He doesn't need to go there. That's true. I mean, granted, he was an assistant coach, but still. I'm. I, I agree. I 100 percent agree with that. Uh, man, I don't know, but Bill Belichick is, is interesting. Yeah. I, I think he gets a job, even though he's that age. I think he gets one more bite at the at the at apple. Guess it goes yeah. to show that no matter how good you are, you can't seem to leave leave your teams on good terms. I mean, Tom Brady left under not so good circumstances. Now Bill Belichick get blackballed by Robert Kraft. Like, you guys were a freaking dynasty, and this is the legacy you guys are going to leave now? Well, how do you think that happened? Do you think that Bill Belichick said, I want to leave? And Robert Kraft said, if you leave, you ain't going nowhere in this NFL. And then he went back in and black, black ball. So maybe him. that's why he's doing it, because he didn't want Bill Belichick to leave? I mean, possible. Yep. said, you're going to fix this team before you leave. And he was like, no, I always want to go. You guys go do what you want to do. He said, if you leave us, you're not going to coach for another team. And he went about blackballing everyone uh, himself everywhere i can see it happening. yeah i mean I, I mean obviously if i mean robert Kraft's that much of a spoiled child i can see it yeah <laughs> you know what, what should happen what should be just perfect justice robert Kraft should go get deshaun watson he should be the quarterback for the patriots and they should move the patriots to miami and go get all the massage, massage parlors. <laughs> oh, they yeah. go together. Robert Kraft and Deshaun Watson hanging out. <laughs> they go together. Wrong. You'll be fine. <laughs> oh, man. That would be hilarious if you ever saw them in the same place. What does this mean? Sean Payton messed up the team before he left? You talking about the Saints, the Cowboys? What are we talking about here? And Sean Payton. He was just an offensive coordinator in Dallas. I don't like what he did with Denver, personally. Well, he didn't leave. He's still in Denver. He's still in Denver, yeah. <laughs> 100% true. I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, so you must be talking about the same. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. We talk about Anthony. Enlighten us. Listen. I want to know. I, I do. Um, Why well, he's did you see? Did you see the sad news? Uh, what the twenty-five year old kid that died? Yeah, he was about to be in the draft. Mm. I was like, that's tragic. But that's the worst. I mean, you see people that everything you you have work, been working on is about to be yours, and then all of a sudden it's taken mm -hmm. away. Oh, he's talking about the Saints. So Sean Payton gave Taysom Hill that uh, big ass uh, contract, and it was like, "All right, I'm out. Good luck, guys." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, AJ Simmons. AJ Simmons, from, uh, uh, Albany. All, yeah, yeah, from Albany. It doesn't say like what happened. But... That's why I was wondering, like, did something happen that we should know about, or? Like, yeah, I was trying to figure that out, but like no one said anything. He was uh projected to be the four hundred and forty-eighth prospect. Mm. 
in the draft. He had 12 and a half sacks. You have an opportunity, honestly. Yeah. I mean, it's just so sad. People don't get that opportunity. Everything they've been working for, Mm -hmm. gone. I agree. You worked his whole life to get to this point, and then. Yeah, it's snatched from you. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to pull up the ADP that came up for it, all the all the, the the guys. I know that's my question too. Whatever happened to those those years being avoidable? I have no idea. Yeah, I thought it was just like a quick thing where it was like, yeah, we're, he's technically this is his contract, but he's not going to get near this, and it's just like year after year he's still there, and you're like. So, is he really getting paid that hundred and forty million dollars? <laughs> and you say, so what is going on? Yeah, uh, like what, what, what? Like who does he have pictures of? Yeah, what videos does he have of shady dealings? <laughs> so, so if you get rid of me, all this is coming out. Right, I can't pull up this this ADP stuff, but I have it on my phone. But well, sleepers just so not phone, uh, internet friendly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I also saw Mel Kuyper saying that you guys that Drake May is not, uh Drake May is uh Jane Daniels is not a lock for you guys at two. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I've said this for a while now, like. Adam Schefter's out there saying, get your Jane Daniels jerseys, it's a lock. And then you have uh, Charlie Robinson out there saying, no, there's legitimate interest at JJ at number two. But he didn't say commanders. So it's like, is that a trade? Is that commanders? But then you hear that we hosted all four of them, but picked All at the same time? But but yet... Who's there and then like a limo to pick up Jaden Daniels, except for oh the GM and the head coach. <laughs> Do it. I don't like, know. I mean, that's not a tall tail sign. I don't know. No, I mean it makes more sense for Jaden Daniels to go there. I don't understand why you guys are even playing with fire. So yep, I heard Jaden Daniels and Jay Jim McCarthy. Yeah. Yeah, those are the two I've heard the most. Like, I haven't even heard really anything about Drake May. I wouldn't be surprised he slips. You've been saying this for a long time. I wouldn't be surprised he slips. So who the hell is Mel Kuyper anyways? He's a guy that is supposed to be an expert, but yet is wrong more times than he's right. That's 100% true. But because he has a, a personality, he gets oh, to yeah, stick yeah. on he had live great TV hair. and do stuff. And his hair, yeah. His hair, that's what it was. His pompadour hair, yeah. Was ta 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 ta. <laughs> well, Todd McShay, that's the other. I could not think of that guy's name the other day. I was like, who hey. is the other guy? I already ESPN. told you, Derpy. You no longer he no longer has your phone. You no longer have the number. Every time you get he calls, we're gonna say, "Who this? Who this? We don't know." You're gonna call Dynasty Pylon. That's right. Who the hell is Mel Kuyper anyways? I, I thought you were going to grab that get his, uh, his reference. Oh, I do remember that, but I can't remember who said it. I know exactly who he's talking about. I have no idea. <laughs> right. I remember, but I, I, I can't. It's, I don't know, my brain. As I get older, it seems to work less and less. <laughs> <laughs> So I was looking at oh, Bill Tobin. That's it. I think that was like in his earlier years. I was saying, look at that possible trades for the first round. So, what do you think is the the, the most likely trade to happen this first round of the NFL uh, draft? I think Amarden would kill me for saying what I'm about to say, but 
I think it's a tie between our two teams. I think you moving down from the nine. Because mm-hmm. I know how much uh, the Bears really do like Jared Verse. But nine seems to be a bit too high for him. So why not trade down and get a little more assets? But then the other most likely scenario for me is Washington packaging up their two second round picks and moving back yep. into the first round. I think that definitely happens. Yeah. Um, I believe as if you as have a Bears, chance to get your quarterback uh, and your I tackle do. in one draft, like you can't let that slip. See, you don't here's the thing, you can't have um uh, we have blue chip. Blue chips is like about 16 in the NFL draft of these prospects. You have to grab one of them if you have a top 10 pick. So the furthest the bear could really go is like 15, 16. But that being said, I think the Bears trade to 15 and draft an offensive tackle like JC Latham. So we're both going to trade to the 15 to get an offensive tackle. <laughs> yeah. That, that, I don't know. I think that, that's the likely landing spot for Washington. It's funny that you said the fifteen. <laughs> that's that's the place. Um, so there's a guy who uh, is good friends with shot with uh, Tom McVay. Uh, Tom McVay. It, it, he uh, he said that yeah, he's hearing he about the, the NFL. Colts. Oh, the, the current GM of the Colts. I thought you were talking about someone who uh, passed. But he said that the Bears are looking off the, off the line first. And the only way they don't they they don't draft off the lineman is if Roman uh-huh. Dunze falls to them. Oh. Yeah, no, it was from a while ago. Yeah, okay. So Bill He's Tobin. currently with the Cincinnati Bengals. He was with the G. He was a G on the coast when he said that about Tommy. I mean, Mel, Mel Kiper. Yeah, yeah, it was from like the nineties. I was like, this is a bit before Bill Polian, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's from. It, like, I just saw a picture of it. I was like, oh yeah, because like it was back with <laughs> uh, Mel Kiper was kind of getting traction, and he was trying to who who was it. I can't remember which draft it was, but he was saying the Colts should do this, Colts should do that, and then he's like, "Who's Mel Kiper anyway to tell me what to do?" <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. Oh man, look at this! Huh? Well, they're possible okay. first round trades, though. Here is the number one trade they say that it's the most possible trade that's going to happen. Yeah, that's what it was. The Colts made their pick, and he said they should have drafted Dilfer. Trent Dilfer, by the way, to show you how old it is. Hey. <laughs> yeah, remember, Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl, guys. Come on. Okay. He didn't win that Super Bowl, okay? <laughs> that freaking defense won that Super Bowl. He was quarterback, and they won a Super Bowl. That's all I'm saying. It happened. <laughs> Yeah, see, I completely remember now. Yeah, it's hilarious. I, I, but I agree with that guy. I'm like, who's been Mel? I don't know. The, the fact that Mel Kuyper gets all this praise and is, oh, he's an expert, it drives me nuts because I'm like, this dude like is wrong 90%. So all you do is be wrong all the time, and you're good to go. If you're wrong all the time, then they know do the opposite of what you say. I think he did. I think Trent Dilfer actually did get cut like after two years with his first team. They probably saw the talent's not there, so <laughs> he kind of bounced around and won the Super Bowl. So even you could win the Super Bowl, my friend. Even you, even you. Not me though. Uh, well, yeah, what other possible right. first round trades though? Do you think? I think the Patriots trade trade down. I think you guys get Dr- uh, Jaden Daniels and the Patriots trade. Matter of fact, I think. Oh, he's he's uh, frozen. <laughs> Let's see if he pops back in. Matter of fact, I think the Vikings trade up to three with the Patriots, and then the Patriots trade back up with the with the Cardinals, so they still get a top prospect anyway. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, it's two of me. <laughs> <laughs> but well, I said, I said, I think the, the Vikings trade up and um, trade up and become the third pick with the uh, the Patriots. I see that as the number one thing that ends up yeah, happening. Yeah, see, Carson Wentz has a Super Bowl. He he does. I mean, he didn't play in that Super Bowl, but <laughs> what, what's the name? A uh, Brad Johnson? Didn't Brad Johnson win the Super Super Bowl? With the Buccaneers because of yeah. that defense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it happens, guys. It happens. Look, look at Joe Flacco. <clears throat> Did Brad Johnson win his Super Bowl a year after Trent Dilfer won his? Yeah, it was like right after. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, two years because it was it's the Ravens and then the Rams. And then. Uh, like, oh, like, we got to let the good offense win one, but then we're going to go back to defense. <laughs> Ready to show on turf. Now, that was a team. Oh. I don't know. I still miss oh, no, the, the Rams didn't win that one. Patriots. Patriots beat the Rams. 2001. I'm going to ask you a question in a second, but I want to finish with this because I, I was almost went on the tire uh, tangent. Um, so what, why I said it, I had the Patriots going to 11, picking up 11-23, uh, and getting the first round, uh, 2005 first round draft pick from the Vikings, the Vikings get number three. 2005? Then I had Hmm? You said yeah. 2005 first round. 2025. 2025 first round. And then Here's I had first round pick from 20 years back ago. Up. I'm trading back up with, and, and getting another, uh, still getting like number four. What if they traded, would the Cardinals be willing to give that for 11 and 23 in the second round? And they got a first round pick out of it. And they only and they they trade with the Chargers. And it's just Why not? You only drop two, two slots and you get another first round to pick? Oh. You know? So you can, you can be the card. I think the Cardinals still trade out for. I know Braden doesn't want to see that, but I think the Cardinals trade out for. I don't know if the Bills need to. I think Keon Coleman is going to be there. I think. Uh, Thomas Mitchell. Yeah. We've even seen some crazy mock drafts that had. Well, they traded Brian up Thomas. to get him. Well, they traded like five spots. It went from yeah. like 28 to 23 or something like that. Yeah, 28 to 23, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, Brian, I don't know. I can't see Brian Thomas being down that low. I mean, if he's there at 23, pull the trigger. But It's the offensive tackles. It depends on how many offensive tackles go. That is you true. Have a lot of with this huge in rise in offensive tackles, that could take up some spots. I, I see eight. To nine going in that first round, man. I mean, you're not wrong. Eight to nine is stupid. But uh, there's that many good. And honestly, I, I, I like a lot of them. They, they have great size. They have great. And none feet. of them are Joe Alt, though. Let's just get that straight. So, yeah, I agree. Joe Alt is number one. For sure. And then I think number two. Fashanu's in the conversation, but that kid from Oregon State, though. Honestly, I like J.C. Latham more than I like uh, either of those guys. J.C. Latham, another yeah, good one. I trust, I trust the Alabama, knowing that you played against the SEC and know, knowing that you have all that talent and you still shined. So that's right. what I'm looking at. Tyler Guyton's not too far behind him either. I agree. Oklahoma, right, for Guyton? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I think – Say we said Fawaga, yeah, Fatanu, Amarius oh, Mims from Georgia. Oh, yeah, him, yeah, you know? from Georgia. What's the name for Duke? The, the kid from Duke, is, um, Barden, yeah, Barden from Duke. I right, see him going in the first round. We talk about Guyton, uh, Morgan, <laughs> Morgan could be a, in the oh, first round yeah. type thing. That's nine, yep. There's quite yeah, a and few. then the kid from the quit the kid from BYU. We saw him in one of the mock drafts that went in the first round. Can you imagine 10 offensive tackles going in the first round? Oh, that would crazy. be nuts. But it's just a position that you really need. Yep. And a lot of teams need it. <laughs> you know, if, if you don't have that, <laughs> if you don't have it, I mean, think about it. I mean, you don't matter if you have the quarterback, if he can't do nothing. Right. So, what was this tangent you were going to go on? 
I was going to ask about the Super Bowl. <laughs> but yeah, this is, uh, I don't know if it's a good, Super good time right now. Let's see. Yeah, because you were talking about the Super Bowl, and I was going to ask you, what's, what is the, the most memorable Super Bowl for a team that you hated, you did not want to see win? And then I thought, assumed that it was going to be a Cowboys thing to you. And that's why I was like, I know. Um, I don't know if it would be. Or the Eagles. Because yeah, that's two Eagles. And I'm not trying to take a stab. I mean, I'm, I, I don't like the Cowboys. I'm not trying to take a stab at the Cowboys. But I was just getting into football the last time the Cowboys won a Super Bowl. And I'm not going to lie. Like, the the big three, Emmett Smith, Michael Irvin, and Troy Aikman, they, they were cool. Like, I, I, like, I, I wasn't rooting nice. for the Cowboys, but, like, I thought they were cool. Like, I kind of enjoyed watching them. So, like, I don't hate on them for winning those Super Bowls. Um, for me, though, I'll tell you which one. It was the freaking Giants Super Bowl when the freaking Patriots should have gone undefeated. That pissed me off. <laughs> I was so rooting for the Patriots to win that Super Bowl. And the fact that they won really irritated me. That's a good answer. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Say, uh, Braden says, Philly, Philly. Oh, another one against the Patriots, yeah. Tampa Bay, I hated Brady getting that ring on his first year. Yeah, it didn't bother me that much. I, I don't like Tom Brady, but my answer has the Patriots in it. Uh, I, I, I thought Tennessee should have won the Super Bowl way, way back then when they were one yard away. That was the Rams, sir. That was the Rams. Or the, it was the greatest show on turf. It was 2000? Or not, it was a 99? I think it was 2000. It was 99. But it was 99. Okay, so because well, the 99 it was, season might have uh, been the 2000. 2000. Super Bowl. I always get that part mixed up. <laughs> I always like, is it the season or the, the year the Super Bowl was in? Like, I always get that part mixed up. But yeah, no, I love. I, I, I see. For me, it was so weird because I was a huge Eddie George fan, and I like Steve McNair, and I love Kevin Dyson. But then they were going up Devon against the Rams. Curse is my favorite player oh. ever. I love Javon, Javon Kurtz. Kurtz. <laughs> yep. And then, but then they were going up against the Rams, and I was like, I can't help but root for Kurt Warner. He was stacking groceries a year ago. And then you got like Isaac Bruce and like Tory Holt, and Marshall Hulk. Hulk, who's probably the nicest dude ever. Right? Like, I was just like, I don't know. <laughs> that Super Bowl really sticks in my mind, too. Like, I remember watching that from like start to finish. And then, like, just for it to end like that, though, it was a hit tackle. Oh, at the one yard line, that hurt <laughs> more than because I had my Javon Kurtz jersey on. And I was like, they were only one yard away. Why couldn't you just reach <laughs> further? <laughs> I know, but that being a legal tackle now. I know. You can't do that now anymore. It's a hit tackle, yeah. That's the first thing everyone was talking about. Oh, they can't do hit tackles. Kevin Dyson sent up and they're going, why? <laughs> You're sitting like, now you do this, right? <laughs> right. Oh, I love, I love the freak, man. He was one of the Devon first Curse, few probably. players. He's one of the first few players that got me into like the defensive side of the ball. He's the uh, only when I was younger, it was more about offense. I'm not gonna lie. Huh? He's the only reason I play football. Javon Curse. It's it. Yeah. Him. No, I loved watching him play. Man, I feel old now talking about loving watching people play. Like uh, him, back in the day. Him, <laughs> to Julius Peppers, I love Julius. Yeah, all Peppers. Julius Peppers yeah. was awesome too. Oh, God. Even <laughs> even as a Packer. No, no, I I, I didn't. I, I hated everybody else but except him. Yeah, you know, I can't hate him. I just wish he didn't make those plays. That's all. You should have been with us. Uh, and he said, Giants won back to back Super Bowls with the same play. <laughs> Dude, I. I can't believe Eli Manning won two Super Bowls. I'm still in shock yeah, of that. That blows my mind. Like Eli <laughs> because Manning. The only thing that sucked really? about those Super Bowl wins is because I, I at least could be like, oh, we have the second most Super Bowls in our division. And then the Giants tied us by beating the undefeated Patriots. And then four years later, they're like, we're going to go one ahead of you now. <laughs> and now they have four. And then the Eagles had to go get one. Now we're the only division where everyone in their divisions won a Super Bowl. So, yeah, Eagles, but Eagles, 
Eagles it's still so weird. You should be like, oh, that's only be have something one, right? Should... Huh? Eagles still only have one, right? Yeah, but they got yeah. one. It's only one. Yeah, it's all right. Like, I, 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 I would be okay with Detroit one one. But I feel huh. like that's something you should be proud of. But I, it drives me nuts. I'm like, I hate the fact that we've all won one. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, oh. Man, division, that's cool. I know. So but at least you could be like, most, at least no matter how many times you lose to a team, you can be like, we've at least won three Super Bowls. You don't have any. And now I can't even say that because they all have. Say so you only won one. Okay. But that's the only team I can say it to. Aha, you guys don't have three Super Bowls. You have more. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anthony asks, what game hurts the most? The comeback Falcons versus New England or the Seahawks just need one yard? Well, for Martin, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you which one hurts more. <laughs> I know it was the Falcons, yeah. <laughs> um, that Seahawks game, they had the game won, and Marshawn Lynch was running over everybody, and all you had to do was hand it off one more time, and you probably win the Super Bowl and go off to the sunset. And Russell Wilson is now a, a, a definite Hall of Famer, and all that stuff happens, and Legion of Boom. You know, has another year and all that. So that's probably the worst one. The Falcons just choked. I mean, yeah. Well, it was a combination of choke and like, why are you still passing the ball when you're up by like three scores in the fourth quarter? When you have a, 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 a officer coordinator who likes to run the ball. Like, just run the ball, eat the clock. And then they finally decide to do that after they score three touchdowns and they did three and out. <laughs> he says, could be worse. You could be you could be the only one in the division who doesn't have one. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Braden. <laughs> wow. I guess that That's, is true. That sucks. That's all yeah. right, man. One day. Butler picked them off. I just hate yeah. the oh, I know that was your favorite Super Bowl. <laughs> I I hate the Patriots so much. Like not like not like Green Bay hate. Like I, I don't like if they're on fire, I'll put them out. But like I, I just said, I what don't, team I don't. needs a Super Bowl ring? The Bears. The Bears need a Super Bowl ring. We're still talking about the damn 85 Bears. It's 39 years ago. 39 years ago. And we're still talking about hey, the, the, the fucking If by some miracle years. you make the Super Bowl next year, you guys better do some Super Bowl shuffles. Dude, if we make the Super Bowl <laughs> next year, I can't even go. Let's say I ain't spending no money on no damn tickets. <laughs> I know you can't. Well, you can't go until they move on from Caleb Williams. I already told you this. You're not no, allowed no, to partake I mean, in any success because Caleb Williams is your quarterback. <laughs> no, no. I said a year. They don't time out for a year. That's all. That's it. As long as Justin Fields does well, I'm okay with it. That's what I'm saying. Next year, in 2025, if they make the Super Bowl, I'll be back. It'll be back exactly back. 40 years. I was like, you better be doing some Super Bowl shuffles. <laughs> I don't know. We, don't tell Caleb Williams that. Oh, my God. He's definitely the dude that will do that. <laughs> definitely will do that. And you would love every minute of it. Don't lie. Get old no, I mean, I, every time he came glasses on. I really, man. You get old man Ooh. McMahon with his glasses showing Caleb Williams how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Ron Rivera is probably available. He won't have anything to do. Can no, him. no, he can stay with you guys. You know what? He can just be in your us. front What's office. Talking about? He's going. He'll be in your front office. Just wait. Just wait. He'll be there. He'll be in your front office. Being a consultant. I, hate, I hated Russ and Pete. I mean, I, I would ask you why do you hate Russell Wilson, but. Do you know how good Kansas would be at the Super Bowl show? <laughs> oh, I hate him so much. He's and you know what? Even watching the film with him makes me even hate him more because I know now he's 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 going to be good. I I yeah. still agree. I still think he has an unbelievable I'm arm. To say like his accuracy, he has talent. Good. Like he he ju- he did win a Heisman. Not like it was a no, wait, but I think. My biggest concern about Caleb Williams is he doesn't play under quarterback, under under center. 
and he needs to be able to run play action. And I don't think think he goes off script too often. You know, and that's why I think Jaden Daniels will be a better quarterback. That doesn't mean I think Caleb Williams won't be good because I think Caleb Williams will be good. I just think Jaden Daniels would be better. And I think you guys have grabbed Jaden Daniels and you have all this talent around him and we're going to be like surprised that the Washington Commanders will make the playoffs next year. When they had, they got rid of their, their, their defensive line and they had the worst offensive, offensive line ever and you know they, they trade back into the first round, they get off offensive tackle, they get Jaden Daniels, they have all these wide receivers uh, and all of a sudden they make the playoffs. Let's let's, you know, let's, I, let's calm down on that a little bit. I would love. This is what happens say, hey, every time in that division. Playoffs. I get that, but <laughs> I was giving it two years. I'm out here. I don't think you guys will do anything in the playoffs. I, I think you guys make the playoffs. That's two different things. <laughs> Although we did draft. Granted, we traded up to get him, but we did take RG three two, and we made the playoffs. <laughs> Yeah, you did, and then it fell apart after that. But well, you know, he blew out his knee twice that year, so <laughs> I don't blame him. Jay Gruden, no, I, don't blame, I him blame Jay. Gruden. I hate Jay Even? Gruden. He's another guy. Just, just, he has a punchable face. Just a, his face, just. Rd three admits it to this day that he never should have came back after you hurt his knee the first time. Yep. He's, but he you know, when that. you have a coach that just doesn't believe in you and saying all these negative things, you want to prove him wrong. I, I think Jay Gruden is the, was the worst guy for him. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Let's see, as a Washington fan, I want the uh, to win the division. I, I don't know if you win the division. I think uh, the Eagles will be too good next year to win the division. But I think you guys can definitely still win second place if you get do a good have a good draft this year. You could still be second place in that division. Well, with what the Dallas Cowboys did, Dallas with doesn't what? scare anybody. The Giants, the Giants are an awful off the line. You know? So, I mean, doesn't that make sense? I, I think you guys yeah. could be second in division no matter what. And then, does I mean, that we mean could only win, win six games and be second in division. So, I think you guys win eight. If you get an offensive tackle and uh, the quarterback, Jaden Daniels is your quarterback. With all the, the talent you have at wide receiver, I say you guys win eight games. We'll talk about that later, but I can definitely see it. All right, you heard it here, folks. Eight games for Washington Commanders. Etch it in stone now. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know what's even we... crazier? You know what's even crazier? If we could win eight or nine games this year, going into next year, we have over $100 million in gas fees. <laughs> And you know, I think you will have to figure out the whole defense thing again. The defensive line is, is going to be something you got to figure out. And cornerback is something you have to figure out. But I think you can. I think you have the coach that can do that, right? And he's well, going to take whatever you guys I'm excited to see what Dan Quinn does with our young secondary pieces. I mean, he turned Jerome Bland and Stephon Diggs into superstars. Now, granted, Stephon exactly. Diggs was already close to being a superstar, but I want to do a clue who Jerome Bland was. Bland? Come on. Yeah, no one knew who yeah. he was until last year. <laughs> so giant star wide receiver might hold IDP out for you breaking news. Break. Go out and get Washington secondary pieces. It's going to blow up. <laughs> I still hold off on that. Because you got to put pressure on the quarterback to be able to do that. <laughs> That's fine. We'll find so a way. Giant star wide receiver might hold out for a new contract, too. Washington has, I mean, Giants have a star wide receiver. Yeah, I was about to say, did you just say an oxymoron? Because I thought I heard giant star wide receiver. I was like, where? That is not anything I ever hear in the same sentence, okay? <laughs> That's who, only after who the is the said star one. receiver? I want to know. I want to know. Who is yeah, the you talking about Malik Neighbors? Receiver? Like, that's the only thing I can think of. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> They're rookie wide receivers. Like, I'm holding out, guys. <laughs> Until you get a new offensive line and a quarterback, I will not be suiting up for you. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, what? That is... Who is it, Anthony? Give us a name. There are no star wide receivers on the Giants. You talk about Shepard, no... and we talk about there's no Hodges, half a star. Like... There's no decent. 
<laughs> there's, there's nothing there. <laughs> like, what? what? The, oh. the cupboard is bare. That's what it is. <laughs> You're not wrong. It's so funny because Washington has like three of them. <laughs> Who's the third? I know we have two. Yeah, okay, you got two of them. Yeah. Yeah. You only have two. I wish I could say three, but. Oh, you we did lost, have three of them. Yeah. But we lost Curtis Samuel lost one. to the Bills. I just won. I don't know. All right, so who, what team do you think is going to surprise you next year? Team to surprise. It's a good question. Well, obviously for you, it's the Commanders because I, I don't even I, think I, eight I, wins. I think you guys can win eight wins, especially with how the division is going. I think the Bears win nine wins, get nine wins, and have an outside chance of ten. Um, but I don't think it's a surprise because it's a good defense already. They won seven games, and then they put all this talent around. I don't think that's a surprise. Um, I'm going to say the Chargers. Really? Well, I think a lot of people are down on them just because of all the people they lost. Mm-hmm. But I think at five, they're still going to add a really good piece, probably receiver. Even if they trade back, they'll get a tackle or maybe Brock Bowers, depending on if they do trade back. But either way, I still think they'll be better. And I think Harbaugh will inject – Like I don't know. Harbaugh just seems to be infectious with what he does. Like, like everywhere he goes, he just and – it's, and it's not like it's a thing that takes time with him. It happens immediately. <laughs> like – he took no, over an under 500 49ers team and went to like three straight, like 11 NFC plus championship games. games. <laughs> yeah. So, and I think with Herbert and, and I think QJ takes a step forward. They still have Palmer. If they bring in another receiver, it'll be like Mike yeah, Williams J- and Keenan Watch. Allen. Who He's going to lay <laughs> hands on J.K. Dobbins' knee and all of a sudden it's right. going to be healed. <laughs> J.K. Dobbins has the year of his life, you know. And Martin's going to be like, what? The one you got to get rid of him. <laughs> then he does it. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think the Chargers, and they have pieces on defense. They still got Derwin James. They got they Asante Samuel Jr. Yeah. They, they yeah. got Joey. Max Both Joey there. and Mac also. restructured their contracts. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I just think the Chargers will be a lot better than people think. That's a really good answer. Um. I think that yes to that if they are able to tr- get out of five. If they if if the Vikings trade to five and they trade them 11 to 23 and they get two first round picks, I think they're going to be a, a, a team to, mm-hmm. to, to have to reckon with. I mean, they, right. they'll be able to get at 11. I think they, they get a, either a tight end or a receiver and they can get off the trade back. They can get Brock Bowers. Like 11 yeah, would exactly. be a prime spot to get Brock Bowers. And then exactly. you add then you a tackle get, to that. Attack of Waga yeah. or you know, the uh, 23rd. That's what I'm saying. That would be scary. Yeah. So now you have a good left tackle. You have and they can still know, get something pretty good with their second round pick, too. Exactly. Like, yeah, they could be a lot better. I know they had to get rid of a lot of people and restructure things because of cap space, but JK gets uh, you're not wrong there. Back. You're not wrong on that one. It might be time for him to retire. <laughs> Oh man, has JK ever had a full season? I don't think so. Like, never. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe his rookie year? I'm not even sure then, man. Well, I know it's his second year is when he tore his ACL in preseason. That's when it started over. We got Kadani in there. What's going on, guys? I'm getting very excited for next Thursday because. You guys uh, have the top two picks. I was thinking that the pressure and nervousness of do not F this up, GMs. <laughs> well, I think we already know who we are drafting. Caleb Williams is, is a bear. That's just it. Yeah. You know, and I think Jay Dance will be the commander's pick. Apparently, uh, Bill Thomas, man, knew more Apparently about Bill, 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 Bill Kite. Yeah. Yeah. See, he knows. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like a lot of people like live on what Mel Kuyper says, and I'm just like, why? I don't get it. 
Anthony says, uh, dude, you asked for a full year. Has he played eight games? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I said maybe Martin loves really him. Weird. Martin loves him. I mean, he has talent. I loved him at Ohio State. I loved him, but he's he was injury prone there. You looking it up now? See if he had, has he ever? Yeah, was... Let's look. Apparently, wow. he's had for his career. He has 234 rushing attempts for 1,347 yards and 12 touchdowns. That's his career. How? His career? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Wow. So he has 1,300 yards for yeah, his that's career. That's his entire career. Okay. Rookie year, he played 15 games. Okay. Okay. He had 134 attempts, 805 yards. And nine touchdowns, and then tw- and then twenty twenty one is where he tore his ACL preseason because it's, it's not there. And in twenty twenty two, he played half the year, well, most of the year, or, or almost half the year. He played eight games, and then in twenty twenty three, he played one, one game, eight, yeah, eight, eight, eight carries for twenty two yards. He did have a touchdown. <laughs> we just Man. sitting here waiting. We're sitting here waiting for him. Oh, he's so young, though. I know he's only twenty-five. Yep. Well, he will be twenty-five in December. It's only twenty-four to right be now. That young, man. Come on, Jacalyn. You gotta do better, man. Do better. <laughs> or he's twenty-five. He'll be twenty-six. He'll be twenty-six in. Uh... So wait a minute. So. Th- he played with Justin Fields too, right in that backfield, right? It was him and Justin Fields in that backfield. I... It was, yeah. Yeah. And Sermon. It's, oh, it's, uh, that's a big disappointment. Oh my yeah. God. He never popped off. <laughs> JK at least had something. <laughs> Sermon never did. <laughs> hey, yeah, I think he's going to be uh, the number two in Arizona this upcoming year, so. Unless they draft somebody. I mean, that is a possibility, but as of right now, I think he's number two. And he then with him, you guys say you can't say he never popped off. Towards the end of last year, him and uh Connor were a good duo. I, mean, I don't know if he had talent. that like it game. I yeah. love Trey Sermon coming out of Ohio State that year. I don't know he what has happened. Talent. He guy. just can't do right. He's had opportunities too. You know. Just well, I don't know if you could say he really had an opportunity in San Francisco because he got Francisco, drafted. They told in the him, though, man, this is about to be the guy. And then yeah, they drafted him in the third show round. Up for and he and wasn't playing hard. Right before, the, yeah. And then they're going in, they're like, uh, well, what was his name? The guy who's the backup now for McCaffrey. Was it Mitchell? Yeah, Mitchell. So they're like, hey, Mitchell, you're the starter week one. And everyone's like, well, this is Mitchell guy. <laughs> and then he went off. Cause Sermon was doing nothing. Like he, they say he wasn't wasn't practicing hard. And what he was probably doing was trying to save himself. You know, trying to save himself, trying to be ready, right. and thinking, okay, I'm going to really show off, show off in in the regular season. And he wasn't practicing hard, and never got that opportunity. This is to Braden. Free my guy, James Conner. <laughs> Wear t-shirts. Free James Conner. Why are we freeing him? That dude's popping off in Arizona. He can stay right where he's at. That's fine. Yeah, get out of here, Anthony. I agree. <laughs> Don't be messing with my fantasy running backs now. You guys let him go. That, oh, no. You, why are you saying free my guy, James Conner? You're a Commanders fan. You don't even like the Steelers. I mean, it's just his guy. I think he's fine where he is. I don't know. I think that you need opportunity. I love to see Arizona get as much talent as possible this in this draft. Um, we got two first round picks right now. I could see them trading back, but I don't see them trading back. For, like I think they trade back, but I could see them trading like to like six and try to pick up something else or trade you know, someone else trying to jump high that's already in the top ten. 
I would love to see that. And then Arizona still have a, a top top pick, and then pick up a uh, you know maybe more talent in the second round, even more, you know, and then just continue yeah. to just build a team that way. Then they're doing it the right way, and then you're going to turn around in, in two years and say, but at some point Murray? you got to start thinking, hey, we're pretty good where we're at now. <laughs> Let's uh, start thinking about bringing in bigger people to get us over the hump, you know? You do need blue chips. You do need blue chips. And there's, I mean, there, is there a bigger blue chip than Marvin Harrison Jr.? Right. I remember I was on the treadmill and I made everyone in the gym stop and look at me when I screamed, what in, at the TV when y'all drafted Trubisky? Yeah. When there was talk <laughs> about Watson. Dude, I was... I think we were on here, and I was d- disheveled. Like, you couldn't console me. I was so upset. I couldn't believe it. I was talk- I remember talking to Marvin and saying, like, I- I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Like, <laughs> I quit. I quit the Bears. I quit at least three times a year, every year. Braden says, I can see us staying at four and then moving out of our second pick. You have 11 picks. You do. Once again, well, you want to get much first round. So he's saying round. move up from his second pick. That would be great if you did do that. Moving our second pick up since we have 11 picks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that would be really cool. So you take that 27th. So you right? go Marvin Harrison Jr. And, and then you move up from the 27th. And get an, another offensive tackle. Corner. Edge rusher, you know, edge right? rusher. That's an edge. That's a lot, you know. Edge rusher, three technique. So I would ask, uh, are you sure they are taking Caleb wins? Because Mark, if Caleb is there, are you taking them in Washington? Look, well, obviously first, if he's there. We're gonna take him. Yeah, but there's that's, no that's, way he would be there. Yeah, but there's no way he's gonna. That, that's why we didn't even host him. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> we didn't even bring him to town. Okay, you brought everybody else though. We brought everybody, bring everybody else. else. We, we brought a limo bus, picked everybody up. <laughs> Say, hey, you come in. Like, you hey, JJ, Jaden. I cannot think of the other two. Oh, Michael Pedix. Thought that was interesting. Yeah, Pedix. I still think that someone's going to get Kendrick him in the first man. round, and people are going to be surprised. And he might be, you know, it could be the Rams going trading back into the first round. I won't be surprised if that was it. Or, you know, the Raiders training back into the first round. Or the Patriots training back into the first round. And again, and, and Patriots go get um, Penix. Oh, I don't think Penix gets past the Broncos at 12. He's there. Hmm. I think the Broncos might go corner. Sean Pay- Payton thinks he's a genius. And he yeah, wants to. Yeah. Uh, they already got a corner. Oh, they're talking about trading them, right? Well, they, they they've been pay. talking about trading them for how long? You still there? Yeah, Patrick Sertan. That's not wrong. Know who it is? Patrick Sertan the second. Sertan the second, yeah. And you yeah, do need to over a year now corners. since last year's trade deadline. Hey, what do you think of the trade deadline being moved? I don't know, it was very random to think of out of nowhere, but. <laughs> No, I think that's a good thing. I think that you. Know, After I always thought it was too early. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was too early. Well, it made sense when there were sixteen games to have it in week eight, but now that you have an extra, like, yeah, I get it now. So, so I think well, it used to be Rex, week four, and then they moved it to week eight. I think Spencer Rattler ends up being a Bronco because Sean Payne thinks he's smarter than everybody else. No, I already made that joke. <laughs> We're gonna draft Jane Daniels at number two, and then Spencer Rattler at the fourth. <laughs> I'm saying the Broncos get Spencer Rattler. Not... <laughs> like at twelve? Oh God, no! No, 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 no! In the second round, they, their second round oh, pick. Second? Be Spencer That's Rattler. Way yeah, too they don't get too. anyone in the first round. They get nobody in the first round. They go Spencer Rattler in the second. That's too high. Don't be surprised, man. It's too high. Oh, Spencer Rattler's going to be going in the second round. He's going to be going in the second round. That's not even. A, that's no doubt. Teams love him. 
I'm looking right now. Yeah. He's probably going he's going from the fourth round to a second round pick. Man, people are quarterback hungry. Mark is watch the plan on moving to the old RFK uh stadium, knowing it would be cheaper building uh a new one than rebuilding that old place. As in, like, so go to the old one and, and, RFK and demolishing then, it and then rebuilding back up. And, and then you oh, play the old that. one. Why? We might as well just say a FedEx until that. you build a new one. But you might need to new, use that stadium. That's that, that spot. Why you just stay in You FedEx? need a spot if you do. But you might need, no, you say you rebuild FedEx. You rebuild, you're going to build a new stadium at FedEx Field. So you go back to RFK to you know play uh, while FedEx is being re- redone. I don't think you do that. I think you stay. I at, think at you RFK. should just make a new RFK where RFK is. Bring it back. Tear that down, demolish it, and rebuild it there. Huh? I think at this point, Washington, D.C. is probably the only one willing to build a new stadium. So. Yeah, they have no problem with that. We spend They spend money like all the time. Maybe try to get the, uh, the Capitals and the, the Wizards involved to make a whole megaplex down there. There's a lot of unused that would be stuff awesome. down there. And I know they're Can looking you for that, they just got They just got turned down by Virginia. So they just make like a big old I think that would be amazing. down there. Yeah, just I have one, everyone, everything there, all in one place. Yeah, I tell you what, though, I'm I'm, I'm be spitting my coke out. Well, of my the mouth. Mystics uh, too. Don't, let's let's not leave out the WNBA <laughs> team. And Martin might catch a backsplash <laughs> if both of y'all's teams don't get their projected picks. I'll tell Martin to FaceTime y'all. I won't be on here being pissed off on Thursday. <laughs> Y'all's reaction, because there's a going to be a Dale Heartbreak song playing in the background. <laughs> no, I wouldn't be heartbroken if we didn't if we didn't get Caleb Williams. I'll be shocked. I wouldn't be heartbroken. I was heartbroken when Caleb, when uh, Justin Fields was gone. I'm that just saying that's heart. going to play when they do draft Caleb Williams. No, so he's saying that what happens if we don't get Caleb Williams if we don't draft him? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, sometimes you get a guy, sometimes you don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I hope y'all happy with the picks next Thursday. I hope so too. And, and Martin is rounding up uh, up to the top ten because Atlanta is what ten? They, he's no, uh, eight. eight. So that's what they are every year. And <laughs> makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Every year. <laughs> and Dallas Turner is a perfect person for them. There. Can you imagine back to back years, Bijan Robinson and then Dallas Turner? Crazy. Oh, Ooh, and then you got Kirk Cousins eight. now. It's eight. I know you got yeah, Kirk yeah. Cousins. What y'all watching when, when uh pick y'all GMs uh, are going to have sticky note saying Monte Mac or uh, no matter what. Yeah, we <laughs> we will fight then. <laughs> oh yeah, how you guys going to feel about the NCAA transfer rules? That's interesting. So you don't long, you no longer have to wait. You can just transfer any time. There's no wait waiting time as long as you have good. Uh, class is good grades. Mm-hmm. You're good. You have good grades. You could transfer and play immediately. I think that's gonna be a problem. Overall, I think it's gonna be a problem. But I'm, you know, whatever. It's okay. You know, if coaches are able to leave at drop of the hat and they get the coach immediately, I don't think see a problem with the same thing happening for the kids. But I know that the sport might be something that it's it's suffering right now. And I yeah. think it's NCAA's fault. So, well, it drove Nick Saban out. He said yeah, that's well, why he, he retired, was the portal. Do you blame so him? Speaking of NCAA, though, are you excited for the new NCAA football game? <laughs> Actually, I am. That I will I will be playing. I've been waiting for it to come back for years. Now we, right. we have NILs. We actually can actually have this stuff going on. Like, not only are you getting it back, but, yeah. like, the actual I, players are there. That's nuts to me. 
I remember yep. like trying to go on the internet and <laughs> waiting for someone to be like, all right, guys, I got you all. I'll put in all the work and put everybody's names in there. <laughs> and no, you have to download so the roster. It's weird. So in, <laughs> in 2004, they had, uh, we all did pictures. They had a camera that goes around you. Oh, yeah, As your whole you know, you, you picture and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm waiting to pre-order to start. I think it is on pre-order. Oh shoot. Oh, I know what's going on. All right, guys. Normally I will keep everything going, but uh the Bulls game is on and we we need to watch the Bulls game. So oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna cut this this short just for that. I know you I love football. football. But you know, we're talking about NCAA football. I need to go to watch this basketball game. Make sure the Bulls make it to <laughs> another playing game. I don't know. This is terrible. But, you know, I love it. I know I'm excited about eight days. In eight days, we have a draft coming in. Um, I have, I have no idea what's going to happen in the rest of the, the first round. So everything else is just guessing. Yeah. Uh, you everything else? everything else. This is a guessing game. Yeah. Well, I don't even That's know what the Bears are going to do at nine. You know, because I just said, I, I went through a whole list of things that could happen. Trading to, to 15, going to 11, possibly still mm-hmm. having, you know, still having a pick. Like, I, I don't know what's going to happen. We have to see. So. All right. All right, guys. All right. We're going to get out of here today. It's been an hour, 15 minutes. I got other things I got to do. And Barton's gonna be mad, and he, I want to get going before he sees it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. So, but we'll see you on Sunday. I know me and Mark will be there. I don't know about everybody else, but we we will be there talking about some. Maybe we'll get somebody else. Let me pray it maybe for twenty minutes. <laughs> I want to do at least a draft. I would like to do a draft and see uh, mm-hmm. another mock draft as we get so close and see what, what, what we know, what everyone's saying, and you know, go from there. See if we can hit good. And, and then name the names. We we're going to save it and then we we're going to see how close we got to it. <laughs> we'll talk about that the fall of a Sunday day. This is what we <laughs> thought this would actually happen. And if we hit it, I'm playing a lot of the next day. Right? Me too. Me too. <laughs> like, I want five lottery tickets. I'm going to hit gold. And all five are going to be right somehow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, thanks, guys. guys. Thanks, everyone, jumping in. This is so fun. Thanks for all your comments, guys. Thanks, Mark, for being here with me. Because without him, this would have been a terrible (laughs) show. (laughs) I almost wasn't here. I couldn't get my my ears to work. (laughs) Uh, Well, all right, guys. We will see you next week. Same time, same channel. Go Bears. Go Commanders. (laughs) Boo Falcons. Out. Aim up, elevating that game up, stepping up to the competition, only first place and that's how I'm living, I'm winning till they digging up my grave, eating all the things up on my plate, game face when I step up in the place, I was born and when I watched the other day. Watch me on the